comes from the prophet Isaiah. So if you look at your Bible, you get Ecclesiasticus, after Ecclesiasticus, Isaiah, after Isaiah, Jeremiah. Turn to chapter 55 and an invitation. Oh, come to the water, all you who are thirsty. Though you have no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money, free. Why spend money on what cannot nourish, and your wages on what fails to satisfy? Listen carefully to me, and you will have good things to eat and rich food to enjoy. Pay attention, come to me, listen, and you will live. O oh, come to the water, though you have no money, come. And this was written, Prophet Isaiah, at a time when people, water was scarce, scarcity of water, no water. Moreover, you had to buy water. I'm not talking about the kind of water we do, eh? bottle water. And mm, 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 we buy that because we want to. I, oh, at least I think so. Eh? But we are saying in those days, you had to buy water was difficult to get. And now Isaiah wants to speak about the, what, the generosity of God. And how can you speak about the generosity of God? Come and get water free of charge. You have no money, come. And no, not only um, water you're getting, buy and eat. You're getting wine and milk. Everything is free of charge. And that is about it. He speaks about the generosity of God. That when we think of God, freely he gives us, freely we receive, freely we give. Everything with God is free. There is no cost. Come to the water, all you are thirsty. So you get that sense of what? The, 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 the greatness of God is so, so what? It endures forever. Years after Jesus came and he said, I will give you a full measure, and that measure is pressed down. You know, when you're full of bag and you push it down and you ram down everything, that's what Jesus is going to do. You will eat until you are satisfied. Think of the feeding of the 5,000. They ate until they were satisfied, and they pick up the scraps. And even the scraps were useful. And that's how Jesus worked. He gives without reserve, without counting the cost. And that's why he loves us so much. And God loves us so much that at a point in time, he gave us the best. His only son, Jesus Christ. That gift is far better than water and milk and wine and food. Jesus Christ. So we turn to Jesus and say, Jesus, we thank you, we bless you, we adore you for coming and we glorify Almighty God as we say. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.